Hello, welcome back to BS Live. In this video, I want to show you how you can hack into um, USDZ asset. Basically, um, if you have ever have like USDZ asset and you want to add some kind of animations, you can actually do that using a little bit of hack and Blender. So let's have a look. We're gonna be using um, one of Apple example of USDZ from this Apple at work. And I believe so this is Apple's example for circular pizza, pizza box. And you can download the prototype as USDZ. So I'm gonna download it very, very quickly. And the USDZ and the pizza actually something that you can kind of have a look using your iPhone or iPad as AR. And it's looking something like this so it's loading a bit slow but so that's the objects okay it's really cool already you can see it like this but you, you if you want to animate it it doesn't have any animation so we're gonna try to hack into this the this is only for study purpose um, generally I think you don't you don't do this unless you really need it so you open the USDZ using Xcode and then you file export you're gonna export the usdz as dae so this is one format that seems to work there must be another way you can do this but for now we simply just export it out as dae colada okay so let's take a look whether this is working so open up blender 2.80 so this is official blender the latest one is 2.81 beta but i'm using like macOS catalina beta so it's a little bit slow blender is running a little bit slow somehow okay file import colada dae blender has a lot of um, it, blender is supporting a lot of format including colada so this is the pizza box and we simply want to add animations opening and closing simply by using um, armature and bones so file save as apple pizza box oh i already have it okay demo so if you look at 3d model like this it's not and you want to add some kind of rig or animations bone you want you want it to be centered and nice so you don't want something like this so let's try to fix that so this is the object itself let's call it pizza box um, let's look at it from top view I'm using the track pad by the way so that's why it's a bit slow. Okay, you want it more or less centered like that. You're gonna put a bones somewhere here. So this pizza box can kind of close and open. So with this object ready, we just apply it. Control A, apply all transform. So it's all reset, save save as new so we're not gonna worry about shading much um, but we're gonna add bones maybe we can tweak the shader later so armature right we won't we're gonna use shift a and we want to create armature which is a single bone and single bone is place where the 3d cursor is um, in this case we're gonna go to edit mode of this armature object go to edit mode we're gonna delete we're gonna delete this bone actually we're gonna create the bones where exactly the pivot of these objects Oh, actually I forgot something. So these objects, 
if you export USDZ as DAE and you look it you look into the the mesh itself it's actually pretty messy <clears throat> each of the face is actually separated which is not good we don't want that kind of triangle mesh so we're gonna select all of this and then right click merge vertices by distance so we're gonna merge all these vertices if you want you can actually convert it to quad let me try doing that tries to quad so it's fixing some okay so we have less data anyway so save that again so go back to our armature we want we want to have these objects um, let's see if we need to separate this guy no don't worry about it I guess select edit mode I will try to select this point and this point it's kind of those points and we're gonna place 3d cursor in between those two points so f3 snap cursor into selected so now the cursor is in the center and while well, we are still we're gonna jump into armature again go to edit mode and then shift a to add the bones okay so we have the bones I'm gonna select select the top part of the bone and hit G and Z gonna pull it up and then G and X to translate it so more or less the bone is conforming to the shape of the pizza and we have this we're gonna pull another bones just extrude it E X and translate so we have the bones file save as it's a good idea to name the bones actually uh, we want to see the name of the bones go to edit mode viewport display name so we have bone and bone.001 I'm not gonna name the bones for now um, let's see in this case I will separate the pizza box okay into different parts so select with the mesh selected F3 separate the mesh by loose part so we're gonna have multiple parts of the pizza box but we know the top part will, will follow this bone and the bottom part will follow this bone so that should be pretty easy so one so we need the top part of the lead let me hide the armature for now select the top part of the lead control J join it back bottom part control J eh. control J okay so it's a uh, folks lead top it's a uh, box lead bottom cool all right so we can now simply parent it to the bones with the mesh selected and the bone selected control P assign it with automatic weight well it's actually taking a while somehow okay so we have this but we don't want this to be controlled by the bottom bone so we're gonna remove 
the influence so we just need this to be influenced by the this bone do the same control p automatic weight so this guy we want it to be 100 percent controlled by bone dot zero zero one so we're going to delete this influence okay hopefully if everything works properly we can start animating this bone for our pizza with the bone selected go to post mode and let's see r x okay that's so that's r x we need r y so we we want to rotate the pizza box like that okay cool seems to work it's really actually that simple in this case uh, you um you will see that there are plenty of usdz assets out there maybe like treasure box or a box or anything with a lot of any assets needs to have rig of some sort but they don't have it uh, in this case it's pizza box it, it needs it, it needs um, some kind of animations so we're gonna animate this bone with a euler instead of quaternion by default so euler so we're gonna have this we're gonna rotate it again in y okay oh not not y apparently it's the z cool okay we can even make this pizza box kind of talking okay let's just open this uh open and close the pizza 30 frames should be enough so that's the open state the close state will be more yeah more or less like this so it's a close one 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 okay one ten okay so pizza open pizza close um would be better slightly better if this has a bit of um what do you call it i even forget the terminology now it's a kind of follow kind of over overshoot on the animations so the pizza opens overshoots a little bit and then and then it goes into position so opens overshoot yeah so that's a little bit better so the whole animation is 30 frames so now it's good what we just need to re-export it as usdz and that should be pretty simple if we do it if we do everything properly so file export fpx i'm gonna save it into usdz apple pizza demo so fpx I'm gonna go file new delete everything file import fbx if i'm not wrong fbx can also convert to usdz directly but uh, i usually do this anyway just to clean up the animations and bake everything you can see the bone is slightly different now but this, the animation should be still the same 30 frame of animations of the pizza box opening okay but one thing to be aware of sometimes there are extra informations in this case everything seems to be pretty clean sometimes you want to apply transformations to this mesh so this have to be reset um the animation everything seems to be okay usually i get rid of this keyframe anyway from the top root of the amateur file save as bake anim so at this stage you can change the the shader if you like give a different color so maybe i do that very very quickly
So what color are we gonna give? Like I said, the with Mac with Mac OS Catalina latest beta, the uh, blenders is a bit slow somehow. Let's give it a blenderish color. I like this clamshell. Maybe the the top and the bottom should have different color. Anyway, file, export. You you can use GLB or GLTF. It's actually working quite well now. Apple Pizza Box export as GLTF or GLTF binary GLB. It's gonna convert anyway. With GLTF, you're gonna have the texture being extracted, but in this case, it doesn't matter. We don't have any texture. The next thing we want to do is to load Apple USDZ convert. Hopefully, everything works and the animation works, and we can test it out as AR. Okay, we have GLB. Drag it here, USDZ convert. Wait a few seconds. This is actually quite big, 15 megabytes. There you go. That's the animation, right? It's just gonna repeat over and over again. Uh, a better way is to use Reality Composer app, which actually on Mac OS it comes with Xcode. So you can bring the animation here into Reality Composer. And you can see the pizza is a bit large. Let's reset the position and rotations. And where is the animations? We're gonna add some kind of behavior. So add behavior into these objects. When you tap it, you want to give animations. Okay, so in, you don't want you don't want it to flip. Uh, you can do that, but uh, in this case, we're just gonna replace this with USDZ animations. So this is the animations that we already created. There you go. Pizza opening. Um, let's save this properly. Save as Apple Pizza. And Reality Composer actually comes with a bunch of assets, including Pizza. So let's try this. I'm loading the pizza using my slow internet. It should be the pizza. The pizza should be here anytime now. There we go. Oh, it's still loading. So we have the pizza. We in inside Reality Composer. Unfortunately, we don't have Outliner. So sometimes selecting objects can be slightly tricky. Where's my pizza? Okay, it's already downloaded. I didn't place it. It's bas It's basically a slice of pizza and. You can actually select whether you want realistic pizza or stylized pizza, which is nice. Pizza slice, drop it there. Oh wow, my internet is too slow. But, uh, but our animations and interaction seems to work. Maybe my pizza's Maybe this guy actually too big. That's why it's you can't see the actual pizza. Scale it. Ten percent. Okay, we already have pizza there. Wow, this thing is too big. So you can actually scale the pizza. Let's do this uh, properly. So when you convert it, 
if you use this meters per unit, you can scale the pizza. Maybe 0 0.01. So it's going to convert the pizza once again. So now, if we replace this guy, um, so this is, let's make it 10%, 10 and then select this, and then replace it with our new USDZ. So this guy is now becoming really small. Make it 100% and then reset the position and then double tap whoa it's uh, there's actually another pizza out there I think that's why let's frame the scene so there is another pizza somewhere out there select all select the pizza and select all, select the pizza box and delete everything. So we need some kind of outliner. Um, I already asked Apple whether we can have a proper outliner inside Reality Composer. So add our object once again, pizza. In, just drag it here. We know now we have pizza, put it inside this there's also one thing that I, I i think reality composer needs a way to set this up so the animations so we can control the state of the animations currently we can't do that so if you have objects inside we cannot really tell if it's correctly placed anyway Oh, it's like a tricky pizza. Drop it on the floor, lift it a little bit. Play. Okay, slice of pizza. Who left? Who eats my pizza? So let's um, edit this on my iPad. Reality Composer. Jimmy at the full set ten megabytes. Yeah, I think it's actually showing on my iPad. Um, you probably cannot see it now, but yeah, I'm gonna make a, another video so you can you can see the result. But basically, that's the whole process. Hopefully you find this uh, useful. Um, yeah, yeah. For the for the demonstration of the AR, I will make another video. So let me cancel that. Disconnect. So again, we started with a pizza that comes from Apple. This is the prototype of Apple uh, pizza box and we bring it into blender we add a bit of animations we export it as another usdz and then we bring it into reality composer look the pizza it's actually not easy to select object if they are overlapping so again apple we need to have some kind of outliner so we we can place our pizza properly something like that play there you go. Apple pizza. Alright, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.